throat answer time. Yeah, that was a, that was a decent recovery from Jenny. Um, I'm not sure. I think she's trying to do some lures, but really couldn't. I want Tomato down to 5 2, but Jenny's going to be finishing up Decker Dancer in a moment here. And she's about to start on phase 2. Dorian. Uh, did not pick up a weapon, so he's just got that space dagger, which will be do two damage with the ring of might. Takes out the dragon, no problem. That was uh, kind of a lure. It worked out. Dorian caught like halfway across the stage here, though. This is a little awkward. Two hits down on the Necrodancer. Three now. Dorian having a little trouble with that base dagger. He gets hit twice. And Jenny's actually playing Dorian for a little bit here, which is fine. Keeping Dorian safe is very important on this fight. Down to two. And last hit coming up. That's a red dragon, though. Oh, don't, don't die. Oh, Dorian has no, he has no weapon. There's two red dragons. Down goes Dorian to the red dragon pair. A Necrodancer, double dragon. What does it mean? Yeah, I mean? It doesn't matter at this point. You're not taking anything. Um, but feels bad, man. Touching butts with dad. This time gives Dorian the broadsword. No throwing shenanigans. Off tomato picking up that cursed potion. Down deep blues. Um, yeah, it's a simple throw. Oh, you have seven damage. Just throw. Oh my god. Oh, the simplest of deep blue quick strats. And Wild Tomato not finding it, not, not figuring it out until it was too late. She almost left her dagger behind. That would have been tragic. Oh man. All right, Jemmy finally going to be on face two of the Necrodancer here. Um, both members of the family healthy. Full health. Taking out that nightmare. And Jemmy's trying to make no mistakes here because she remembered last time. Last time was not good. <coughs> Excuse me. Going after Necrodancer for the second hit here. Uh-oh. I'm a little nervous that she's uh, keeping that Minotaur around, even though it's only on one hill. Spawns a bat, thankfully. Not taking a chance on that hit. Probably could have had it, but that's fine. Yeah, Seed Variance was all messed up this game because of the Shopkeeper kills. There's our friendly Red Dragon. Jemmy just didn't take him out. Not even. There's a second dragon, so it would have been a double dragon. Jemmy's got to be thinking, why? Why so many dragons? Where are they coming from? Who's breeding them, and who do I have to kill to stop them? No, don't go for that last hit. It takes a hard adventure. Getting dunked by the Black Skeleton. A third dragon has spawned. Um, but we're still fine. Dad can only take one more Necrobomb, though. Oh, come on. Don't do this again, please. Please. Oh, God, no. No. Still alive. Still on this last hit. And finally, Jemmy <laughs> breaks the curse. 1749, 1735 in-game. <coughs> My heart, be still. Jemmy, oh, man. This is uh, quite a run of Necrodancer fights that Jemmy has been having. Um, whew. Jemmy on the Necrodancer. And while Tomato down on 4-3 after getting dunked by that Black Skelly Mage. Oh. So Jemmy can take a deep breath and use those bombs. And... Perhaps finish off a 2-1 in her first Condor race. Down to three and a half hearts. Not terrible. That's still seven hits to give on this fight. Does not know about the shield glitch. 
does know not to get bombed by the Necrodancer. That's the wrong person you want to be frozen. Gonna take that second hit there. Gonna be trying to clean up some skeletons and baby mini bosses here. Does get hit by the nightmare, but still has three hearts. Again, six hits to give on Cadence before death happens. Oh, frozen again. Jemmy having a lot of trouble luring the Necrodancer correctly, and we have a baby dragon here. Jenny's just taking her time. She's got all the time in the world. So all she has to do... Oh, she did not do that right. All she has to do is slow down and focus on getting this Necronancer's health down. Two and a half hearts remaining. I can guarantee you that's probably not a baby dragon. But no, it still is. Okay. Oh, yeah, she got a ring of peace. <coughs> so, Jemmy frozen. Okay. Uh, Kane's down to a heart and a half. Necrodancer down to one hit. Dorian down to one health. Oh, this is spicy. This is so spicy. She popped a blood shield. Why, Jemmy, are your Necrodancer fights so freaking scary? Last hit on Necrodancer, but there's a green dragon in the way. It's going to get frozen. She's going to take it out. And GG, half a heart for Cadence and Dorian. And Jemmy takes the third race. 1826. 1741 real time. Jemmy, why do you do this to me? Holy shit. <laughs> Three Necrodancer fights in a row that were just total nerves. Oh, man. Oh. I, <laughs> I really don't know what to say about that. I, I you know, there, there's been times where I've seen like one Necrodancer fight go a little off the rails and you have all kinds of things. I, I remember back in Condor 4, I cast one. Uh, I think the Necrodancer fight lasted about four minutes, um, but was nowhere near this stressful down to both both characters at half a heart. That was, that was so, so, so scary. And to have something like that happen three consecutive races in a row, Jamie, I cannot imagine how you feel. Um,